Hi YouTube, it's Melinda Lachey and I wanted to show you guys really quickly what I discovered this Saturday. Okay, so I always have my little spiel about consignment stores and about purchasing items um, secondhand if you get the opportunity to do so and to check in your local um, consignment shops because you never know what you're going to find. But I wanted to share it with you guys what I found today. And... I don't know if you can see that because when I change the angle on the camera, it doesn't show me. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to attempt to take this off and show you guys. But I found a Tiffany & Company necklace with five charms on them for $45. And everybody who follows Tiffany & Company or has at some point in their life gone into the store, went on the website, is familiar with the fact that Tiffany & Company is a very, first of all, let's say it's a quality silver. We know that it's not going to five. It has a certain sheen to it, a certain weight to it, and a certain look that you can just definitely tell is Tiffany & Company. Um, and we all know that the charms range from I think 150 I may have seen one for 125 but the cute ones that I like I've seen for about 150 bucks each and then you have to get them soldered on so for me to find a Tiffany necklace in a store for $45 I was just ecstatic and then here are the charms this one is like a little square piece that has T and C on it and it's a very vintage looking um, it, it looks like the vintage uh, piece to me um, as far as the other charms go. This one, I've seen, they still sell this in the store, the open heart charm. And this one is a, one of the more vintage pieces also, that kind of long vertical banner that has um, T and C and it has um, 1837 on the bottom 9.25 at the top and that piece is really tarnished so I'm gonna have to either clean it myself or take it in to get clean and there we have a Tiffany locket the heart shaped locket which has returned to Tiffany um, the infamous um, please return to Tiffany and Company New York 9.25 on the front and then on the back it has the engraved Tiffany spelled out completely and co and then last but not least, there's a small ball that has um, several different things engraved on it. It has T and C on one side, 1837 on the other, T and C on the bottom, and then um, in another little area, it has 1837 um, again engraved, but it's not in a banner there. And it has 9.25 engraved in two different places. So I was ecstatic to find this and again this was in a consignment store and it was in a section where the other necklaces um were definitely not on a Tiffany level you know and um to pay $45 for a Tiffany and Company necklace was just so on my I mean it just made my day because for one charm you know I would have spent 100 and I'll, I'll say 125 just to be fair because I don't know for sure right now. I know they're, they've been about 150 bucks um, average for the ones that I like, again. Um, but to pay $45, which is cheaper than just buying a charm or a necklace, let alone getting a necklace with five charms on it. And I just made it tighter um, where it fits like a true choker um, just so you guys can get the full effect of how the actual charms look hanging. I don't even know what else to say. Um, again, this was in a section where there weren't any other high-end names, and it was more like custom jewelry. And so I just couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still in shock right now. But I want you guys to see what it looks like on, just to kind of get an idea of how it actually hangs and the charms flow. Um, this is everything to me. Just made my day, and I hope you guys are having a great day as well. Um, again, I always reiterate the fact that you should check your local consignment stores. You can go online for consignment items also, but check your local stores because you never, ever, ever know what you're going to find. You never know what's marked down. If they're having a store-wide sale. If they have a lot of people consigning stuff, or if they're the type of store to just buy stuff outright um, versus having to pay fees to the consigner um, or do a split with them. 
And a consignment just means that you have something that you take into the store and you say, hey, um, if you sell this for me, I'll, you know, give you a cut and you give me a cut. Or rather, the store owner says, if I sell this item for you, I'll give you a cut. And some people do 70-30 in your favor. Some people do 60-40 in your favor. And some people do a 50-50 split. Um, and I'm sure there are other ways for them to do that. But if you take your items into the store, it's a smart thing to do. Because even if you don't walk away with a lot of cash, you can kind of um, get a store credit to, you know, trade or to, like, purchase items that they have. And that way, you're not spending, you know, so much money. But that's my spiel on consignment stores, and I just want to show you guys this cute little um, new addition to my Tiffany family that I picked up today. So I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Thank you. Peace. Namaste.